Hey everyone, it's Willis from Friendly Neighbor Comics, and this is your morning coffee break. So how's it going? Good morning, everybody. It's springtime, baseball season's in full swing. It's cold as hell outside, and us New England, we're getting ready for a snowstorm tomorrow, I guess in the morning commute. It's just the perfect spring weather, right? Um, so what, do we, what, what can we do about it? We can sit inside, have some nice coffee, uh, drink, uh, read some comics, and chat about it, right? So let's do it. So, I got my old trusty Spider-Man mug with me today, full of, uh, um, Death Wish coffee. If you haven't tried it yet, go out and get it. It's great, strong coffee. All right. Let's get to it. So it looks like I got two books in front of me again, but again, just covers. Today we're going to talk about Breathless. Now this is a book I wanted to actually talk to you about last week, but I didn't get a chance because, you know, life gets in the way. Um, this is written by a really great author. His name is Pat Shan. <clears throat> now, if you're a friend of the shop, you know, Pat Shan was just in our store last Saturday. Um, what was that? April? No, March 31st. Yeah, it's only food days into April already. My mind is shot. But Pat was in the shop, so if you come by and you're looking to get a copy of Breathless, more than likely, they're signed by the writer. That's the great thing about Friendly Neighbor Comics. We bring you the best uh, creators out there today. We brought you Pat. All our copies are signed. So come in, get a copy. So what do we got? We got two covers for Breathless. We got cover A, which is that nice red cover. You get the back shadow. Uh, it's the alien. You're not really sure what's going on, but you know, hey, maybe I'll ch check it out if I'm a uh, fan of sci-fi books. Cover B is one I really, really like. This is the one that drew me to Breathless to begin with. We're looking at the inhaler, blood, and just a white background. Very simplistic. This has to be one of the best covers so far that I've seen this year. Very simplistic, gets you a storyline, sucks you in, you're like, I've gotta know what's going on. Do you have asthma? Maybe you're like, yeah, I do. Let's figure out what's going on with Breathless. Do you ever, do you know somebody with asthma? Do you just like uh, sci-fi books? What's going on? So we got two things going on. One looks like a murder cover, one looks like a sci-fi cover, crossover, let's do it. So, <clears throat> Breathless is about uh, science fiction crossing over with Big Pharma. Now, as you can see, <clears throat> these are not usually the threads of somebody that works in a comic book shop. And you're right, I work in Big Pharma. Uh, so, Pat wrote a good book about... Um, there are aliens in the world, aliens, monsters, whatever they are, and um, there is a scientist who encountered an alien, not to give you too much about it, uh, and got sprayed by the alien and no longer needed her inhaler. Inhalers, I don't know if you have somebody that has asthma are getting more and more expensive. As Pat says on the back cover, you are paying to stay alive. Uh, that's what medicine really is. You, it's, you're paying for the right to stay alive. Um, and so she had asthma, this character, the main character had asthma. And because of her encounter with the alien, her asthma's gone. Do you think Big Pharma would appreciate that there's found a cure to asthma that they can no longer charge people for these things no and that's the premise of the book so what happens once uh somebody discovers the cure for a disease a disease that big pharmaceuticals make a ton of money off of so as a, a big pharma guy myself i would say this would never happen never happen um, yeah, it's, it's how, and then you got to start asking yourself because she discovered the cure from a monster or alien or whatever that was, um, and Big Pharma is now after her. Who really is 
the monster. And I think Pat's really trying to show uh, a societal impact on this as well. Like, who, who, who amongst us are really ethical? Who is really a monster? Uh, if we discover a cure, if there's the ability to cure somebody and we don't do it just because somebody's trying to make a buck, who really then is the bad guy or the monster or, or what is our society doing when it comes to helping people live or do we just keep making them pay to live great book um come into the store grab a copy i think you're gonna love issue one the aliens kind of remind me a little bit of um uh the um resident evil I had a brain fart there for a second. I was going to say Grateful Dead, but I know, that's a different, <laughs> a whole different area. Uh, they remind me a little bit of some of the uh, the creatures from uh, Resident Evil. So uh, I highly recommend this book. Pat Chan's a great author. Uh, he, he's just a great guy all around. Um, I was very happy he came into the store. In fact, anything that Pat wrote in our store is signed by Pat. So if you're a fan of signed books, also come get it. So, um, again, give Breathless a try. It's from uh, Black Mask Comics. Um, it's, the art inside of it is, is great. Uh, it gives you the day-to-day the -day world. Uh, I don't want to show you a page that has anything telling in it. Um, I can show you the front page then. The artwork in it. Fantastic. Just that day-to-day -day sort of life. Um, it really gets to the heart of characters, and Pat does a great job telling uh, the story from a few different perspectives uh, and getting a, a character's voice. I think that's so hard nowadays for writers to really find different voices for people inside their books. Everybody sort of has the same monotonous tone to them, and Pat does a great job distinguishing his characters. Um, and linked up with a great artist to make sure that they they continue that through the the actual the description and how they appear in the book. So, highly recommend Breathless. Great book. I think you're gonna love it. Uh, if you're into sci-fi, if you're into aliens, if you're into um, the world of big pharma like myself, uh, this book will go over really good. So, if you like reviews like this, don't forget to hit the. Uh, the like button down below and subscribe to our channel so that you know when more are coming out and i will see you at the comic book shop